It's been in the offing for a while, but Governor Willy Obiano chooses Workers' Day to address issues bordering on workers' welfare in Anambra State. And without missing words, he makes the workers realize his interest in upholding their well-being. When I increase your salary by 15%, you did not ask me to do so, did you? I told you that if my, uh, if my IGR moved to uh, one, 1 billion, I would do so. And I did that automatically. I will also do this one automatically as soon as my IGR reaches 2.4. I have also directed the uh, Chairman Civil Service Commission to commence the process of promotion, which will be done this year. I have no doubt that the overwhelming support that my administration enjoys from these good people of the state is because you have taken it upon yourselves to distill government policies down to the grassroots and ensure that we are adequately understood by the ordinary folks. The leadership of the workers' union in the state are happy the governor has taken the welfare of the workers and pensioners to heart by ensuring prompt payment of the salaries and other entitlements. For this, they honored him. On behalf of your very contented workers, I present to you this award of honor as the best labor-friendly governor of Anambra State. As the governor makes efforts towards another term in office, the workers appear to be saying, we are with you all the way. And this they did with an endorsement. We, the level of the workforce, is now saying that one term deserves another. And the motion has equally been seconded. And I want to ask, I want to ask those that are in support of this motion, say aye. Those against any, they all have it. The story of Anambra paints a picture of a scene where the state and organized labor are in harmonious relationship. This no doubt puts the state on the path of growth and development, and as such should be sustained.